a 3-1 uh, win here in a very soggy Tolworth uh, for Kingstonian against Margate this afternoon. Hayden, um, difficult conditions, good opposition, um, that must be a very pleasing result and performance for you. Yeah, I thought really good opposition actually. I think with the likes of Rebecca Petter and uh, Bob's Bowler, players that can really hurt you, um, which we knew. Um, I saw it in the first half, we had, albeit all of the ball, they look very, very dangerous on counter attacks. And I think in you know, the second half we worked, we discussed a few things at half time. The players should take all of the credit. No one more so for Rob Tolfrey, because without a shadow of a doubt, that double save mm. was the defining moment in the game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a more cliched interview now would call it a game of two halves, but I think that would be a bit unfair on what I thought was still a fairly good first half performance, even though we went in 1 0 down. I think. I think I think we had all the ball in the first half. We were a little sloppy with it. Um, we were playing too inside rather than we needed to play with, with more wit. The the first goal is a consequence of of Reese uh, trying to feign uh, with the jacks, and so the ball can come out to the fullback, which was intercepted. And I think that they did very well with that uh, Margate to score. Um, very nearly caught like that again uh, when Ollie's ball should really have moved to the full backs to the spaces, tried a more intricate ball in field which was which was intercepted very well. And Margate were really good on the counter. Uh, and to be fair punished us. I felt that we had all the ball in the first half but the shape was wrong and so we were too open in transition. So we had to sort that out at half time. And you know football football is sometimes an easy game that players complicate and what we said uh, in, in the dressing room at half time is you've, you've stopped turning down crosses you've got to get the ball into the box and didn't the players do that famously in the second half they did that brilliantly no one more so than Nairon through this one yeah. it was absolutely exceptional yeah I mean his, his crosses for the first two goals were both you know worthy of a goal in and of themselves really yeah yeah ab absolutely I, I, I think Nairon since he's been in fullback has transformed this season. Uh, he's gone from having a solid, steady season to being nothing short of breathtaking. Really pleased for him. Uh, and with all due respect to Margate, who I thought were a really good team, we could walk off this pitch with five and sixes. Yeah. Uh, so that is is not being critical of Margate because I, I like them. And on another day, and if the penalty went in, they yeah. would probably have beaten us. All I'm trying to say is that I think that our players deserve great credit for the second half performance. Not in terms of um, just their ability and their performance, but being composed and poised under pressure, one nil down at home, having lost last week very unfortunately, and they ticked all the boxes. It's much easier, I guess, to have that composure in the second half at 1 0 rather than, as you say, if the penalty goes in or if the rebound goes in, which I think the rebound save is probably a better save. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that penalty save from Tolfrey is really the turning point, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, had that gone in, it would have been a mountain to climb, there's no doubt about it. And, and like I say, the first penalty save is good, the second penalty save is, is vintage Tolfrey. You know, when, when the man eventually retires, people will speak about that save when they speak about the Tolfrey in years to come. It was the changing point in the game. Um, like I say, I don't think our general performance was poor, but I think that we were sloppy and I think we played against a team that had the quality to punish us and they were punishing us. So we still have to um, look to improve. And when I, you know, constantly speaking in these interviews about improving and improving and improving, and we have to make sure that when we're having all the ball, we also have a good shape for when the ball is in transition to make sure we can't be caught on these counters. Another two goals for Olivia Buchanan today. He's some, some vein of form, isn't he? See, I'll definitely put Spencer down my Christmas card <laughs> this year. Um, you know, it wasn't that Elliot was doing badly at the start of the season. Elliot um, was a victim of the shape. But, of course, it, when you're 31, 32, you need to play football regularly. And, you know, going out on loan... Uh, have really helped him he's come back a different player and you know I, I think that we're fortunate enough to have probably the best front two in the league uh, 
Ajikai was tremendous yeah. today. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Elliot is his So, huge respect for Elliot and Kenny. He's a very, very Big week coming up now. Last league game for you know, two weeks between the Eastrow game and forward back here playing casual and then um, all the other things. Yeah. Back. Absolutely. Um, I'm probably in a minority of one when I say that the East Thorough game is more important than the Aldershot game. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> um, but for me, the East Thorough game, perhaps we'll look at it a different way. Perhaps we'll say the East Thorough game is more important because it's the next game. Yeah. So it's a game we need to win. Um, today was important that we needed to win because we've got so many games in hand, two or three games in hand, but we don't want the gap getting bigger, so we have to use our games in hand. We want the gap. I think we're really well positioned in the league is what I'm trying to say and we can capitalise with our games in hand so East Thurrock is going to be really important and if, if we win that game against another team that have improved significantly having watched them then we can go to Aldershot um, in a good condition and we can go to Aldershot uh, knowing that the pressure is on Aldershot and knowing that this is a competition that is synonymous with Kingstonian and we're going there to try to win. There's no doubt we're going to all the shops to try to win. And and when you you know when we talk about league games it um there was a moment when when we went two one up today and the league table as it stood, the top eleven were all winning, the top eleven the bottom eleven were all losing. So there's no letting up in the kind of battle for those top five places really is there? No it's not. That's why today was important. Uh, the, the league table is is not uh, accurate at the moment because teams have got two and three games in yeah. hand over us um, but nonetheless that's why I say we need to use the games in hand to our advantage slowly it's sorting it out but you know we're seventh in the moment at the moment I certainly don't think we're the seventh best team in the league let's let's put it like that and I can see I can see now that we have the control in the performance but we have goals in the performance which is what I've said to you before when we spoke to you when we were last year yeah. should have done it again today probably should have should have um, scored fives and sixes in the end but, but again what I will say of Margate is, is that I thought they were a really good side a really tough opponent and had that goal got in then I think it would have been a really different game yeah. uh, so we've dodged a bullet today, but we've taken advantage. We capitalise on a tremendous double save by Rob. If there wasn't enough to afford to for next Saturday, Corey Andrews got twice this afternoon. Did he? <laughs> good, good old Corey. No, I'm really pleased with Corey. He's a player that, that was fantastic here in his short spell. Obviously, his time at Kingstonian was curtailed because the season uh, was abandoned. But he's a friend of the club. He's a player that I'll keep in touch with. He's a player that I really like. Um, I'm disappointed for him that he's not got the opportunities at Wimbledon that he would like to have. But there's no doubt that um, Cookie and Simon or Jerry or whoever will um, we'll have to keep a close eye on young Corey next week. Indeed. Well, thanks to the next week. See you soon. Thank you.